love today is rare. Love is an encounter. And that's why we use the term fall, to fall in love. So, let's say you have a happy life. You have a job, you have a social life, you're not in love, but you have one night stands here and there. You meet every night with friends, you drink, you go out, you have money. You have lots and lots of money. Well then, one day, all of a sudden, you stumble on the street. Someone stops to help you, you look up, and of course, it's the love of your life. A totally contingent encounter. But the result, the result can be that your entire life changes. Nothing is the same. Nothing. Everything is different. So different that you even spontaneously perceive that your entire past life is leading toward this one unique moment in time. The illusion of love. My god, it's romantic. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Oh my god. I was waiting for you all my life. It's something like this. This is the love event. Today, one could say that we're returning to pre-romantic times, pre-modern times, when the connection of love was a matter of purposeful selection. What does that mean, you might be asking, purposeful selection? Well, quite simply, that outside councils aided in the selection of whom you would spend your life with whom you would marry, your mother, your father, your community, your uncle, your aunts. These are the people who decided with whom you would spend the rest of your life. Now today, today it's similar. Love is a transaction. Only instead of those old wise relatives, it's dating agencies, websites, apps, the internet, and so on. What these agencies offer us is precisely love without the fall. Love without falling in love. Today, we are more and more afraid of these eventful encounters. We are afraid of the fall. We are afraid of the philosophical and emotional journey that romantic love actually requires. You encounter something that's 100% totally contingent, okay? But the result, if you accept it, is that your entire life changes. Your life, your life becomes a different story. And so this avoiding of falling in love is the very same phenomenon that describes how we feel about just about everything. It describes how we deal with the majority of our desires today. We, we want the thing, but we don't want the thing with the bad consequences. We want the thing without the price we have to pay for it. We want this thing right here. Okay, we want to hold it, but we want this cheap, and we want it guilt-free, and we want it easy, and we want it light. We want sweet without the sugar. We want beer without the calories. We want cream without the fat. We want sexual encounters without the fall. Love without the fatal attachment. This, 
This is not only sad, but disadvantageous.